plotted to divorce Kevin. And, and I sacrificed a lot of myself to come out successful on the other side. Explains it the best way I can, which will probably um, make him wish that he never met me in his life. And the girl, she is now on blast. Sharina Hudson appears to have recently unearthed a significant secret concerning Wendy being behind Kevin's collapse. So the narrative simply continues growing thicker with this group. But that's only the beginning of this narrative, as the side piece come baby mama has now revealed that Wendy had been scheming her ex's fall from grace since word of his infidelity leaked. Isn't it tasty? There's more to it. Welcome to Hot Topics, Sharina Hudson. Getting out of my car. Oh! With my money. Oh. Good morning, Journey. She'll be almost three. I think she'll be three next month, don't you know? Good morning, Kelvin. <laughs> According to Sherwina's current theory, Wendy has been on a mission to destroy Kevin and deprive him of everything he has worked for from the moment she discovered he had cheated on her. Most people would agree with me that it appears a little far-fetched at first glance, but Sherwina may actually be onto something, especially because things have been going quite badly for Kevin since the beginning of the year. And for his part, he's blaming Wendy for everything that's happened to him, and he, along with his new sweetheart, don't appear to be going down without a fight. I mean, I had to, and I knew, I'd know, all right, we were married for almost 22 years. We were together for 25 years. I don't regret the day of meeting him. I don't regret putting up with him for all 25 years. Um, and I cert and that has nothing to do with him having this baby or him having this uh, side girl for almost 15 years. Wendy's ex-husband first informed a New Jersey court that the monthly payments agreed upon in their divorce abruptly ceased in February 2022. Kevin petitioned the court to appoint Wendy's guardian for her to make payments as contractually required under the MSA and severance agreement. Kevin acknowledged that his livelihood depends on the payments agreed to in their marital settlement agreement when he filed the court order. I have fallen behind on most of my bills. I currently live in a community that requires payments to the homeowners association and I'm behind on that bill. If the homeowners association fees are not paid, a foreclosure will soon follow, Kevin stated in his court filing about the home he shares with his baby mama and their love child. My car insurance hasn't been paid as a result of not receiving monthly severance payments. I'm behind on credit card payments because I have no money since the severance payments were suspended, Kevin continued in his filing. My life has been greatly affected since the plaintiff stopped making payments under our settlement agreement. All I'm saying, turn about to fair game. I'm a fair game player and a straight shooter too. Ha -ha. In addition to the various serious financial issues Kevin claimed he was facing, he also claimed he lacked health insurance. The father of two said that he needs hip surgery, which he cannot pay without insurance, and that he suffers from everyday discomfort as a result of his lack of care. The fact that I am unable to maintain my life and pay my debts is really concerning to me. I am unable to pay my payments and maintain my standard of living. Given that the prior arrangement between the former couple required the television presenter to pay him, Kevin also claimed that Wendy's guardian never explained why the payments had stopped in the first place. In years of our marriage, I've known about her almost since the beginning. I've known that Kevin is a serial cheat. I, the first time I found out was while I was pregnant with our son on bed rest. This, along with several other things that have come up in the last few months, are some of the reasons Sharina has been sticking to her story that Wendy plotted for things to get to this point for them. And there are some other parts of this story that actually support that claim, but we'll get to that in a minute. Wendy's counsel stated in her defense against Kevin and Sharina's demand for reimbursement that the former TV personality had not received income from the Wendy Williams show since October of 2021, only one month into her long absence. On October 15, 2021, plaintiff was informed that her contract was being suspended and that no compensation shall accrue or be payable to the plaintiff for the duration of the plaintiff's disability and incapacity. Wendy's lawyer wrote, The divorce settlement agreement signed by the former talk show presenter and Kevin in January 2020 was cited by her attorney. Wendy's lawyer went on to say that her client did not receive a paycheck from the production and that she now has no other television show being aired and providing her any cash, let alone an equivalent compensation. Kevin became an ass, for lack of a better word. He, the more successful I got and he got and we believed in each other, the more of a jerk he became. You know, he used his good credit to purchase property. 
that he chose to wine and dine his extramarital affairs. Wendy's absence from her program began in September at the start of her fall 2021 season, and she was hospitalized a few days later for a psychiatric evaluation. Wendy was reportedly paid $10 million each year for the Wendy Williams show, or $55,000 per episode. According to Sharina's version of events, Wendy planned the entire affair from the beginning. And, given that Wendy has admitted to being rather devious in the past, it doesn't seem too far-fetched that she had this all planned. On the other hand, most people would say that if she did plan this out, she was largely within her rights. After all, Sharina did abduct her husband, so what better way to punish them than to cut off their money? This girl wasn't the only one. She just happens to be the one who kept his baby. Yeah, I said kept his baby because uh, from what Mr. Hunter told me on the night that he that she was, you know, with this new baby journey and her family and whatnot down south, he was with me begging for forgi forgiveness. Wendy, it turns out, may not have had anything to do with Kevin's cash cow drying away. Wendy ran into some difficulties with her bank, according to previously revealed data, as Wells Fargo blocked her accounts in January 2022 amid worries that Wendy was of unsound mind and the bank suspected financial exploitation, dementia, or improper influence. Wendy allegedly spent two months in Malibu, California treatment for serious alcoholism later last year. Before entering treatment for severe alcoholism in August, the anchor, who had previously stated she was sober, had a number of public episodes with alcohol. Alcohol has been a real struggle for for her over the past several years. She is battling severe alcohol abuse mixed with serious health issues, that's according to an individual close to the actress, who also disclosed Wendy spent time in rehab. She was being treated for severe alcohol abuse. She continued, saying, she has had numerous doctors who have told her for years if you drink, you'll die. She never really wanted to stop and the people around her in New York allowed her to keep drinking. Aside from the fact that she's effectively locked out of her money, she's also been battling with long-term health issues, which have now evolved into larger and more serious financial issues. Wendy was gone for the entirety of her final season of The Wendy Williams Show, as revealed by her lawyer, but there has been little press on why she was absent, as most people just chalked it up to her drinking problems. She turned discovered to be suffering from a variety of health concerns, including Graves illness and lymphedema. Shortly after, Wendy's longtime production company, Detmer Mercury, revealed that her show would be terminated in the summer of 2022, and her time slot would be filled by her previous guest host, Sherry Shepard. Given that she's been locked out of her money and has also lost the employment that Kevin is claiming is his right, it stands to reason that she won't be able to keep up with the payments she's been paying, as her lawyer also highlighted. And, like them, the judge who presided over the case appears to conclude that Kevin is unlikely to receive any compensation. According to court records obtained exclusively by The Sun, Wendy's financial guardian will not have to resume cutting his alimony checks. Kevin's request was deemed not emergency by the judge, who ordered his application to be dismissed without prejudice. The judge also refused Kevin's plea for Wendy to pay his attorney fees. Kevin's quest for Wendy's payments, on the other hand, is far from ended. While the judge stated that his alimony payment demand is not an emergency, he can still take his case to mediation, so it appears he still has a chance. All of this hasn't stopped Sharina from throwing jabs at Wendy, which she did in an Instagram story. Happy and healthy is all I'm on right now, Sharina wrote in the post. She then added, the clickbait is real. I guess they need the storyline to continue for a podcast. Wendy's previous assertion about starting a podcast is referenced in this shade. However, it is unclear whether any episodes have been recorded. So far, Sharina has not provided any additional explanation for what storyline her statements were referring to, but we all know what she meant. Well, it appears that the majority of people are siding with Wendy on this one, and many of them haven't been shy about saying so. One person shared her thoughts, writing, What did Wendy Williams tell Kevin during their marriage that makes him think she should be taking care of him and his family? Sharina Hudson has another thing coming if she thinks I'd purchase anything from her. As soon as I saw her whole wrecking name, it was over. Sharina now has one less customer. If this continues, her business will most likely fail before long. But who knows, maybe after the mediation, she and Kevin will cash a check. The only way to know is to wait and see. That concludes this video. Good luck.